Hey there, everybody. We are in Corona at the shops at Dos Lagos to check out Nightmare at Dos Lagos, a zombie survival experience. We're going to head inside and check out what this thing's all about and see if we can survive. You ever wondered if you'd survive the zombie apocalypse? You're about to find out. This is not a standard haunted attraction. This is a survival experience. You found yourself outside of the safe zone. You need to make your way through this infested retail store without getting infected yourself. This will not be an easy task, but I assure you, this is a winnable experience, no matter what your physical attributes might be. There's many ways to survive this experience. You don't need to attack or hit the zombies. You can outmaneuver the zombies. You can sacrifice one of your own lives. You can sacrifice one of your teammates' lives. Zombies are easily distracted. And they love sleepy doors. So if you're lucky enough to find one of these, just squeak it, and throw it, and you're on your way. But don't throw it at the zombie. Otherwise, we'll get very mad, and you won't last there. You need to accept the fact that not everyone in your group is going to survive this experience. And you will lose lives throughout the journey. But if you find yourself entering the safe zone with no flags, don't worry. Our scientists have been working on a cure, and we might be able to help you out. Each of you will be assigned a belt. Points will be given for every flag that you have when you enter the safe zone. And points will be deducted for anybody who doesn't have any flags. And at the end of the season, all the winners will be invited to come back and compete in the championship for a grand prize. For your safety and the safety of the zombies, we have every inch of this attraction covered in security cameras. Remember, do not hit, punch, kick, or push any of the infected. If you do that, your experience will end immediately and you'll be escorted off the property without refund. No electronics devices, including flashlights and cell phones, are allowed inside the attraction. Now that you know all the rules, we wish you the best of luck in your zombie survival experience. Time to gear up and head inside. Alright, so we're about to head into the walkthrough experience. We're going to see if we can survive this. We are going to cut this into being a, I don't want to say spoiler free, because you're definitely going to see the zombies at work in there. But uh, we're not going to show everything. We're not going to show the cure. We're not going to show a lot of the um, darkest moments and things like that, because some of it's just not going to show up so well um, anyway. But we also want to leave some surprises there. And they are kind of constantly tweaking and changing the game here. Um, so it really does encourage wanting to come back week to week. So that said, let's head inside. Got us. We're out of squeaks. Whoops. 
We're like already out of squeaks. What? All right, so we wrapped up. I mean, it was mostly you playing. I mean, I was playing along as well, but I was worrying more about video. Yeah, so we did not survive. No, not even close. <laughs> um, it, it's cool, it's different than a haunt, and that was part of my trouble. Like, I kept feeling like I was in a regular haunt where you're not allowed to run and you're not allowed to, like, divert and move and stuff. And so if I had done that and been able to get my head in that right space, then I probably would have lasted at least a little longer, but I went through it like it was a regular haunt, which it definitely is not. It's, it is a, an experience. Move and, fast, spin. Yeah. I mean, you're really trying to protect your belts. And all those things. And so, um, it was, it did feel a little more, well, not a little, it was more intense than a haunt because normally I don't like get scared in haunts and I'm just taking in the, the artwork and stuff. And this was an actual game. So I felt like there were actually stakes, even though, I mean, the stakes were my flags, <laughs> but, um, so yeah, it was definitely, um, more than I was expecting. I wasn't sure what to expect, um, but it was fun and it was a little more intense and all those things that it's just kind of a little different than a normal well it's a very different than a normal just walk through haunt experience so it definitely was fun yeah and then once you do it i feel like you want to go back and do it like right away like it's like okay let me try it again because it has that game yeah, feeling like, now that i feel like i have like an idea of of what you know the experiences yeah, i feel like going back in and totally. experiencing it again but yeah. um we don't have time right now so yeah. we, but yeah. um but yeah it was it was a lot of fun and definitely enjoyed it and very kind of unique experience to what we're used to and we do a lot of things for halloween so this was definitely a, a unique cool experience yeah definitely so check it out nightmare dos lagos zombie survival experience here in corona highly recommend checking it out so with that being said we're going to wrap this one up and until next time we'll see you in line somewhere <laughs>